Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Dark Souls 3. Hello, hello, hello. It's me, your boy, GV. Remember, we're doing a uh, Souls Vember. I gotta remember not to say exclamation point, because if you don't know on Twitch, you type exclamation point, and then words, and then commands come up in the chat. Uh, but yeah, we're doing Souls Vember, where we're playing through all the Souls games from Demon Souls to Elden Ring. That's Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne. Well, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3... Sekiro, and then Elden Ring. So yeah, we're doing all that. If that's something that you're interested in, consider following the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Grovana. The link is in the description below. Uh, but yeah, we are on our way 100%ing this video game, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I have done this before on Twitch. So yeah, there's a lot of good content on Twitch if you haven't followed it already. Um, people are always like, I always say this, but people are always like, you know, hey, you should play this game. And I'm like, yep, have played that game uh, on Twitch. Hey, you should play this game. I have played that game on Twitch. Hey, GV, you should play this game. I have played that game on Twitch. So, yeah, can't stress it enough. Uh, but also, I do understand at the same time. Ow. I do understand at the same time that, you know, Twitch is obviously not the same as a dedicated Let's Play format. So, I get that as well. But I'm just saying, if you want to see some extra content, uh, you know, consider checking out the Twitch. That's all. Is that such a big deal? Gosh. What's the deal with that being such a big deal? My God. Okay. Uh, let's head up here. And then I think we need to rotate this. God, this is so similar. Yeah, it's cool playing all the Souls games back to back to back to back to back to back to back seven times. Um... Because, like, yeah, you really do see, like, that lever is the exact same lever that's in Dark Souls 1. It's just cool seeing, like, how similar everything is. Or the little references from start to finish, like this right here, should look a little... Oh, God, that looks so good. And Londo. So, yeah, what I should have done was activate this bonfire first and then go do the other one. Which is a little bit of a weird way that they set this up. Uh, let's see. We have no souls to pop. We're going to go back and upgrade our sword. Uh, let's head back to Fire Link Shrine. Yennefer, you being a good girl? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep an eye on you. You guys can both stare at me as long as you want. You still got time until you're fed. Sorry. Don't know what to tell you. All right, so we got another Titanite scale, so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this Ultra Great Sword. Ultra Great Sword. Ah, it is good, wasn't it? Hello, I would like to reinforce my weapon, and I would like to reinforce this Farron Great Sword to plus three. Please and thank you. Thank you. And now we need eight Titanite scales, okay, be like that. which is going to be quite the challenge. How the hell do we even get eight Titanite scales? I have no idea. Oh, how okay, we're going to give the Umbral Ash of the gracious. Easterners ashes, <laughs> and then we're going to see what she sells down by the seashore now. I don't know what each of these ashes actually gives you, but some of this stuff probably Helm of Favor. That's a reference to Dark Souls 1 as well. Wood grain ring. Oh, if only it was the ash grain ring. Ashen one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Well, Hello. Very I would like to level up, please. We're so Hello, very close. Okay, goodbye. So very close to a level up, but unfortunately we don't have enough. Okay, back to Anerlando. Why don't you open your doors? Greyjoy is literally to my right, literally staring into my soul, and he's just sitting there looking directly into my eyeballs. I was hoping he might say something after that. Maybe it, the mic would pick up him going, Meow. All right, uh, here we go. If you don't think there is a massive boss in there... Whoa! Hold on, buddy. Boopity. Boopity. Is what I gotta say to you, pal. Boopity. Uh, what? What happened to my L1? Do I have this? Hello? Wait a second. Okay, that's cool. I didn't have this two-handed for some reason. Uh, give me a second. We can go back to where we're at. So yeah, this place... Um, so this is an example of where you can farm covenant items. I remember spending many, many, many hours here uh, farming these silver knights. Ow. Ow. Okay, hit me. Okay, this is a very awkward fight on these stairs. Oh no! Okay, we're gonna reset him. Yeah, we can be we can use all of our resources since we got a bonfire here. Okay, let's go. 
Ah, couldn't see him. Can't parry to save my life. No, I didn't want the ember to go. Uh, yeah, hi, Greyjoy. Yes, hello. <laughs> that was Yan, if you could hear that on the microphone. Okay, uh, yeah, so anyways, this is an example of where you can farm um, covenant items, uh, which is a really good way that they did it, where you don't have to be online to max out all the covenant covenants and get all the rewards, which is what I really agree with. Is this other guy already aggroed? Okay, here, hit me. Hit me again. Ooh! I did not expect that parry to work. Bang! Okay, let's back up a little bit. Now one. Oh, did he drop it? We definitely want to pick that up if that's what I think it is. Uh, no. So these guys can drop, I believe, the proof of Concord kept. Ugh, that would have been a parry if I was closer. Yeah, these guys can drop a proof of Concord kept, I believe. Although it's a very low drop. And then you can farm them. It takes forever, so ideally you do go for the, um... You know, online online is way faster if you can do it, but sometimes you just can't. Oh, actually, I just realized now is a very good time to do it since they brought the DS3 servers back online, and there's probably a lot of people playing. We're going to go and visit our giant friend who unfortunately is dead, but he will give us the giant coal. In the original Dark Souls 1, there's a chest here that has, I believe, the hawk ring, which lets your arrows fly farther. Uh, let's see. Is there a place to go up here? Yennefer, be a good girl, and don't chew the ground, please. Don't worry. After this episode, Daddy's going to feed you. I just need you to be good. Does this go into the main hallway? It looks like it does. Yes. And then I think we can open up the front door, if I rem remember correctly. But the we don't... Um. Yeah. All right. Let's do this part. This part's going to be tricky. So we got some boys flinging fireballs at us. Time it correctly. Hi, yeah. Okay, what's that? Proof of a Concord kept. That is what we're looking for. So yeah, obviously. Hi, yeah. Obviously, we're gonna amber up here. I think. You can um deep gem. I wonder if that's like a rare drop. Obviously, you can get some covenant items from just picking them up as well, but it's usually only like one to two. One to three, I would say, if I remember correctly. Okay, let's give you one of these, and one of these, and also one of these now. Okay, gotta take care of these guys first. Oh, where's my iframes? Oh, you emitting force based. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah, ay, uh, yeah, yeah, ay, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, come here. You want something? I don't know where that backstab went, but all right. Okay, hold on. Okay, so that's the boss right there. Spoiler alert. Um, these guys are weak to fire. Do I have any fire bombs? Let's see. Fire bombs, fire bombs, fire bombs. Seek Oh, we need to trade this. I gotta remember that. I just have black fire bombs, unfortunately. Um, not really worth. All right, we're gonna kill these guys. Hi. Yeah. Obviously, we want to do the AOE for this. Uh, we'll give you one of these. Also one of these. And don't forget one of these. Okay. We're going to give you one of these. And also one of these. And also one of these. And also one of these. All right. Let's see if these guys drop anything. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. I love that that does like a double hit. Pop, pop. Okay. Any drops for Papa? After all those pop pops. No? Alright. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Let's go for this one too. I'm being very... Oh my god. How many of these are there? I'm being very, very careful not to go over there. Um, there's something that's over there. And that thing is very scary. Hopefully these are the last two. I don't really want to deal with these anymore. Usually forego my rule of killing everything once with these guys because they're so annoying to kill. Although if you have anything fire related, it does make it a lot easier, obviously. Are there even more? All right, I'm done. See ya. No, thank you. 
Uh, okay. Gotta be very careful here. Moonlight arrows there. And let's take a look at this other side here. This is where you would originally use the Dark Eye Orb in... I almost said Fallout 1. In Dark Souls 1. Uh, let's go up this way. And then what do we have at the foot of here? Anything? Nothing? Really? Um, Dark Souls 1, you'd be able to jump out the window here and grab, I think, something arrow-related. Gotta do, a, like, a ranged playthrough at some point. That'd be kind of cool. I've never done a ranged... I mean, I've done, like, sorcery and miracles and stuff. Magic, but I've never done, like, a arrow playthrough. No idea how viable it is. Heard various things, which usually seems to be the case. Alright, so, gotta be very careful here. Yeah, oh my god, that is actually horrifying. <laughs> Hello! one of those, like, way too aggressive enemies. Oh god, no. Not like this. Oh god, not like this. Ooh. Alright, relax, relax, relax. Okay, luckily we got the heal off. Time to play where the heck am I and what am I doing? Sometimes you just gotta, like, pray and hope you land some hits with these types of enemies. Oh, cool, these little things are here, too. Great. Alright. Uh, what? Am I about to get cursed? Oh, god, is that an instant death in this game? Oh, no, 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 that is not happening. Okay, we're gonna use the pillars. When in doubt, use the pillars. R2, R1, I mean. What are you doing? Watching that curse meter. Okay, there we go. We get Aldrich's Ruby. I have no idea what that does. And let's go see if we can open up this main gate, just like in Dark Souls 1. Looks like we can't... Yeah, hello, cats. Staring at me is not going to make time go faster. I don't know what to tell you guys. Yeah, hi. I'll give you a pet, sure. You can come over for a pet if you want. Better be a legitimate pet. What is this? Oh, look at this hidden-ass chest. Look at this hidden-ass chest. What is that? Estus shot. Okay. Holy crap. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, don't miss that. Um, let's see. Let's just check the other side and make sure there's no chest as well. All right, I think that's everything. This is a very small area of the game. It feels like this area was rushed almost. I don't know. It just feels like there should be more for Anor Londo, but I guess it ties in with... Whoa, what is that over there? I wonder if that's supposed to be... I wonder if that's supposed to be a location over there that we're supposed to know. Alright, now we are out the front door. Uh, we did everything to the left, right? And now we gotta be careful because there's stuff to the right. Uh, we went down... Did we check that? Gotta go make sure. Gotta go fast! I feel like I did not check back around here. Uh, this game usually doesn't put stuff, like, in the corners like this. Some stuff, like, Demon Souls, I feel like, does that a lot more, where they'll put stuff in really tight nooks and crannies. But in this game, not so much. Okay, so don't forget to get the Giant's Coal, or whatever it's called, because that will let you get different upgrades if you want to go that path. And now we head this way. Uh, let's see. I know for a fact there's a very scary dude. Yep. Alright, I have no idea if you can parry the electric stuff. Ah! Uh. Okay, wax. I'm trying to parry him. Damn it. Okay, that should have been a parry. I definitely timed that, I think. But I guess it doesn't matter now, does it? Man, the running and healing in DS3 is so BS, I realize now. Okay, we're gonna grab that. Roll into him there. I feel like this guy has a higher chance to drop the uh, covenant item that I was talking about, but I could be wrong. Obviously, the L1s there are really good against him. I really want to parry him. I want to get better at parrying, but... What the heck was that? I was, like, doing the backstab, but I didn't do the backstab. Okay, let's see if we get a proof of Concord capped here. Two Titanite shirts, I'll take it. 
All right, and that might be it. Now we're coming up to a scary, scary boss. Scary, scary, scary boss. Yeah, nothing over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you gotta be quicker than that. Uh, was there anything over this way? That big door doesn't have anything. Should I try to go for the boss with one heal? It's doable. It's definitely doable. Hmm. Um, no. Because I have a lot of souls I can use to level up. Man, yeah, it's not even time, cats. Okay? I love you guys, but come on, I'm trying. Daddy's trying to record. Daddy's trying to bring home the bacon. <sighs> you want to you want to get some treats and be fed, right? Daddy's got Daddy's got to record. <sighs> Daddy's got to record. All right. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and use the large soul of a weary warrior. Hopefully this will get us enough for two level ups. We're going to use the soul of a crestfallen knight. And then we are going to level up here. I think we're good on health. We definitely want more decks, I think, for Oh my god, yeah, that's going up high. Yeah, more decks for sure. Bye! Uh, anybody to buy from? We'll check Grey Rat in a second here. Hello! Okay. Reinforce Estus Flask. Reinforce Estus. Give coal. Give Giant's coal. My, my. The coal of that peaceable giant. Seems like ages past. I imagine his passing was long ago. I miss the old bugger I do. My thanks. I'll be sure this coal is put to good use. I'll be smithing weapons never afore seen by the likes of ye. It's but a small service to pay my humble respects. <laughs> no problem. Um, a lot Estus. Still don't need that. Reinforce Estus. Good. Repair equipment. Infuse weapon. Reinforce weapon. Pretty be careful. Yeah, pretty be careful. Yar. Hello. Oh, hello. And in okay, what do you have? Anything that I could use here? Fire bombs. I feel like we could use some of these. We'll buy ten. Uh, oh, you've got two titanite scales for sale. Interesting. Definitely want to get those. I mean, you've got a lot of stuff. All right, see ya. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Definitely a good idea if you have leftover souls like this and can't really use them for a level up to buy the different stuff. Oh, wait, uh, patches. We could go check patches for embers and things. Yeah, definitely a good idea, like, especially if you know if you know you're going up against a boss to spend all of your souls so that you don't have to really worry about, you know, having your souls be trapped. Oh, hello. Go Hello, what do you got? Yes, I will take these, please, and thank you. And we don't really need alluring skulls. Okay. Thank, thanks, good copper. All right, um, let's head back. I was going to say, why do I have... Wait, do we get Sublime Bone Dust? It's so confusing because I'm playing Dark Souls 2 right now and the same thing. You have to burn that here, right? Burn Undead Bone Char. No Undead Bone Char. All right, here we go. Inner La Hondo, why don't you come to your senses? Let somebody love you. You better let some. All right, here we go. Uh, do I not have my shield on, by the way? Oh, whoops. Would have had more stamina regen. Uh, could be a good idea to kill these guys, but I'm just gonna... Yeah, no thanks. See you later, alligator. Alright, here we go. Now, we've heard a lot about this guy. Can we beat him first try? He always gives me trouble. He brings a tear to my eye. I do really like this boss, though. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna give it our best shot. Wish me luck. Here we go. Quiet mode engage.
Yep, that's about right. <laughs> Never fails. <laughs> Never freaking fails, man. Oh my god. That better have counted. I think that counts. I think it always counts in a situation like that. Welcome to me playing Souls, by the way. That last second where we're about to win, it just never, ever, ever fails. Uh, did that not count? If that didn't count, that is some BS. We got literally his soul. I think it did. I think we just have to grab my souls on the ground again to make them, like, truly count. Okay, there is more to do after. So that's Aldrich. And, yeah, since I can't see the boss door, I'm assuming we successfully did that. Uh, Aldrich is really interesting. So he's a devourer of gods, right? And um, my souls better be here, I swear. He's a devourer of gods. Okay, you better give me those act. Yeah, okay, good. 50k souls, I was about to say. Um, Aldrich is a devourer of gods. So what he's actually doing there... Yen! Okay, I gotta spray my cat. Hold on. Ugh. So annoying really just chews up my freaking carpet. All right, anyways. Uh, yeah, as I was trying to say. Aldrich is a devourer of God. So literally what he's doing there is he is devouring uh, Dark Sun Gwendolyn, which is a boss, an optional boss in Dark Souls 1. Uh, he is devouring him. And so it's cool because it's like a big sludge monster that also is using a modified moveset of um, a previous boss. Which also has a second phase. So obviously how to get around it. Uh, basically he'll do the little like starlight things which you just want to outrun. Uh, those are really, really, really annoying because they'll just catch you and deal tons of magic damage. He'll do the big giant soul arrow or spear or whatever blast which you just have to time and roll. Obviously if you have a magic shield you can shield all this stuff as well. Um, and then he will just whip around, which you obviously want to roll as well, and do scythe attacks, which you want to roll, or shield. All this stuff that I'm saying can be shielded also. And then, yeah, it's basically just, you know, getting around his magic attacks and slamming into him. He's open to being attacked a lot of the time, though, so it's not really that difficult of a fight, I would say. Um... Just one that you have to obviously really be careful with his magic damage, clipping you and interrupting you. Okay, I don't remember what item this is. What is this? The Sun Princess Ring, and that's it. So yeah, there's a very important entity there in the original game, uh, which a lot of people probably know about for a certain reason. Ahem, ahem, ahem. And do I want to be lazy and warp back? Uh, it's not all that far, and honestly, if we go back this way, we can deal with those Silver Knight joiks as well. So yeah, that's Aldrich. All in all, not too difficult of a boss. Some people have a lot of trouble with him. He's one of those that, for me, I don't really typically have trouble with, which I always, always sounds like I'm being a jerk when I say something like that, but I mean, like... He's one of those that can be a real big problem for people. But, like, for me, it's more about, like, Pontiff Sylvain. Or Pontiff Sullivan, or however the heck you say his name. Somebody called him Sully in the comment section. I can like, chuckle. Okay, can you stop, by the way? Pretty great. Okay. Really? Jeez Louise. All right. Let's uh, try to parry this guy. Oh, wow. The other guy's out here, too. That's not good. Ooh! Sorry, buddy. I frames, pal. Okay, let's try to go for it. This? Oh, that would have been so cool. Okay. So you can have that. And then you can have one of these as well. Aha! Proof of a Concord kept, please. Proof of a Concord kept, please. Gosh diggly darn it. Uh, so yeah, you gotta farm these guys. Ideally, with item discovery, um, you can raise your item discovery stat and then have a higher chance of them dropping the stuff that you need. Okay, so that is one of the uh, Cinders of Allure that we need to kill. Uh, Aldrich, Devourer of Gods. Who do we have left? Let's take a look. Uh, also, do we have any souls to pop? No. Um, I think I should go ahead and buy those Titanite Scales, since we can use them on our weapon. 
Uh, that is a hefty sum, though, but it'll really cut down. Oh. And I don't know where Grey Rat stands also. Okay, we're going to buy these for a hefty 32k souls. Jesus. Goodbye. Uh-huh. I don't know why you're char charging a, your best friend that much, but okay. Uh, and let's go back to Welcome you. We level up even more dexterity, because, yeah, that scaling is quite good. Farewell, Ashen. Goodbye. And then now we got a bunch of weird stuff. Um, there is... Killing Aldrich activates a weird part of Cirrus of the Sunless Realms quest line. I think where we have to go is the Undead Settlement. Not the Pit of Hollows, but I think the Dilapidated Bridge. Dilapidated Wham. And I think, um, yeah, this is another part of this character's quest line. Cirrus's quest line is so bizarre. I've done it multiple times. But, yeah, it's just like, how do you know where to go at any time? I don't, I don't understand. How are you supposed to know where to go? Um, just unless you're check. I mean, if you're paying major attention, you know, I guess you, you might be able to figure it out. But, yeah, I just want to see. Do I have to be? I'm wondering if I have to be not hollow. Ow. Okay, guys, I'm like super duper high level at this point, so... Please leave me alone. That'd be great. All right, let's see. Um, I think it is near here. There should be something on the ground, which should be very, very, very evident. Ah, yeah, right there. Check that out. Okay, touch sign requesting cooperation. Yep. All right, we're going to end this episode here. We'll do that in the next one, though. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you to those that support me and what I do. Bye-bye.